welcome to another episode of the mediator i am glad you are here i am glad to be here today we have a real life scenario real life problem that needs the mediator to opine please join me as we listen to this problem and let me know your thoughts in the comments section let's get into it my husband so here's a woman the question today is from a lady she says my husband is addicting sorry addicted to playing this card game three days a week he spends money to buy packs of cards almost every time this morning he went to check out savings and it was all gone he went to check out our savings and it was all gone we have two young children he works from 9 30 a.m to 6 p.m and goes directly to his game after work Kids barely see him, and when he's home, he spends his time building card decks instead of being present. I am so depressed over this. I started drinking. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I worked, I worked two at-home consultant jobs. Recently, I had to hustle to make enough to buy clothes and school supplies for my son and diapers and clothes for my daughter. I'm thinking about leaving or separating for a while. I want to do what's best for my mental health and my babies. I've already asked him to cut back, but he does not see it as addiction or an addictive behavior. But I see our savings draining, and this morning, this sent red flags. Any advice on what to do? If it were you, what will you do? I love it when people ask the question, if it were you, what will you do? Because that allows me to put myself you know, my imagination, by imagination, put myself in their shoes and, and just think about it. If that were me, what will I do? I will be sad. That's the truth. I will feel like, how did I get here? And that's the question that I'm asking this woman. How did you get here? Now you see the red signs or the red flags because your savings are dwindling. But I think that those signs were there prior to marriage, prior to the kids. Or did this just creep up on you? Or you didn't see that your husband or your boyfriend at that time had a bad spending habit? Well, let's not flog the dead horse. Let's talk about the situation at hand right now. It's a serious problem when the person has an addiction. But it's even a more serious problem when they don't know that they have an addiction because it's easier to correct a person when they believe that they're wrong but when they believe that they are right good luck and that's where the problem is because your husband does not see anything wrong with what he does and that's the thing with addiction it's like a shiny object somewhere they believe that they are going closer and closer to that shiny object, which could be money that they think they'll win. It's usually money. It's like gambling. They look at that shiny object and they're just, they're just going after it, forgetting all else, forgetting the family, forgetting the children, forgetting even you, the wife. It's a tough place. But here is where you need to bring the people that your husband listens and respects. And if you don't have those people, even a bigger problem. Because now you need people other than yourself who need to tell this man that his actions have such a grave impact on you. He needs to be able to hear not just to stop the cards game, but to see what that is doing to you and to your family. He ought to care that you are happy or not happy. He should care about that. If you are depressed, that should mean something to him. If he prioritizes his card game over your mental health, that's another red flag right there for you. If it doesn't mean anything to him that your kids don't have diapers or food to eat or school supplies, but then he can play his card game that should mean something to you at the end of the day right we're always having to ask ourselves fundamental questions peel off the fluff 
Yeah, he's playing cards. So what? He could have been doing something else. He could have been gambling. It comes down to this. Does this guy really care about you? Does he care about his kids? If for whatever reason, your life is cut short and you're no longer on this earth, would it matter to him? And if the answer is no, then you have your answer right there. You have your answer right there. You have to prioritize yourself because he wouldn't. You have to prioritize your children because he wouldn't. But before we get to that last step, I always love to advise that we give the benefit of the doubt. I always love to advise that way so that when you take a decision, you are sure, crystal clear, you know that you gave it your all. So find the people that he listens to and lay it out to them like you laid it out to me and have him, have those people tell him on top of what you have already told him, what his actions is causing the family. If he cares, you will see remorse. If he cares, you will see repentance. If he cares, you will see him asking for accountability. He will say, my wife, hold me accountable. When you see me act this way or act that way, know that I am slipping through the cracks and I'm slowly going back to my addiction. If you don't see any of those, it's unfortunate that you are now only realizing the red flags in the middle of a commitment that has two children at the center of it. But mind you, if he doesn't care about your mental health, he wouldn't care whether you're here or not. And the biggest losers at the end of the day will be you and your children. Prioritize yourself. You know what that means. And take action. Hope this has helped you. And hope this has helped someone else. It would be lovely and nice to hear your comments. Anybody else who has something to say about the situation, happy to read from you. Until next episode, this is Extel on the Media. Time.